Burns the troll with strength of stone Cave and mud his ancient home Blending ages milk and honey Folk with brass the mud men's irony All the tales of night and day Grit and magic steel and clay Got hidden swords Riddles be praise Our gods pats in a wild erase It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Gentlemen, welcome back to Midwest Dungeon Delvers. We're here with our episode four of The Fair Before the Foul with our good friends, Shodan Ninja, Corn's Demon, myself, and a new guest known as King Mochi. Welcome, welcome. Beep, beep, <sighs> boop, boops. Oh, yeah. Greetings. I was waiting for someone. I was waiting for someone to say something. I was like, um, "Is it me first? <laughs> Who, whoever, whoever wishes to speak." Uh, we do have a uh, uh, individual uh, yet to arrive by the name of Og, the troll. Uh, but he is. Uh, to show up as his want, as is his character, to disappear and be invisible magically and stuff. Well, that fits in perfectly with the recap. B -b 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 Speaking of recap, go ahead, Corns Demon. Hit us with that recap. Oh my goodness! Saber rating with another rate of four. Welcome, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Just in time for the recap of what happened in our previous episode. Go ahead, Corn. Well, so in the previous episode, you guys dealt with um, some building up of this crossroad camp that you guys are using to um, intercept various goblin tribes and deal with them. Um, the last, uh, the last tribe that you guys dealt with was the War Tusks, which you guys were able to convince to join you through your champion fighting against their champion. Your champion being Arg the Troll versus Runt the Goblin. Um, the tribe leader, whom you did not get the name of, uh, wanted very much to interact with Arg. And so in the dealing with Arg, he allowed you guys to have a champion champion fight and uh, you know, has decided to join you guys for possibly own motives. And oh. that is where we left off at. Perfect. Wonderful. Welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. And Og has returned as well. So, we ended with the War Tusks are now with us. Yes, that is uh, where you guys have ended. 
I assume now would be a good time for you guys to go back to uh, your main camp. Uh, yes. Supplies and Arg is in uh, dear need of medical attention and rest. Yes, Arg is looking a little... Arg is fine. <laughs> Arg, half of your belly is open. <laughs> Arg just felt like wearing it that way today. So, I will assume that you're taking with you the tribe leaders to show uh, your uh, your primus the uh, the effects that you're having out in the in the battlefield, so yes. to speak. Uh, I believe a uh, rugger, slink, skulk, and uh, I don't remember the uh, general of the war tusks name. You did not get the general of the War Tusk's name. Yes. Uh, I I ask it of him as we travel. Who who uh, shall I introduce you as when we arrive uh, to the Primus? As you do seek a uh, a title. Karu. We'll use Karu. Karu. Uh, Garu, uh, what a, what a powerful name and title, uh, shall be bestowed upon you. Let us, uh, travel quickly, and off we go. Okay, uh, you notice as you guys move out, um, there's a group of, like, ten heavily armored goblins that come with you guys. Okay. From... The War Tusks. I figured. If they're the heavily <laughs> armored ones, they're definitely from the War Tusks. Uh-huh. Uh, Slink and... Uh, Rugger... Uh, both seem pretty okay with this. Traveling in uh, luxury, so to speak. Yes. We have a, a ten... Soldier Escort. It seems. Guy, oh, yeah. is this not a better uh, traveling troop than when we first set out from the camp? It is. It is. Much, much uh, more outfits around than what we had before. Well, keep your spear at the ready, just in case. Indeed. Sling uh, appears next to you guys and goes, Don't worry, I've got my daggers ready as well. Thank you, Slink. So, let's see. It is only a few days to get back to your guys' uh, main camp, yes. where the Primus is. I'd heal up over that, right? Um... You'd heal up a little bit. I'm treating myself every day, of course. Okay, well, yeah, just make me a make me a make me a general medical check. Uh, Which is plus zero. All right. Advantage and minus two. So. <laughs> Ooh, love that. That is a dead ten. Okay, uh, there's not a whole lot of supplies available as you guys are going, so I would say roll a d6 and use your intelligence modifier uh, to add towards whatever the number is. I have to? Yep. <laughs> I have a negative two in intelligence. Oh, look! I look. got a three! <laughs> Yay! Hey! Heal a point! <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm still almost dead, so... I, I will allow you to do it the uh, a another two times for the heal. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, All right. so it's three and one again, so... Four more points, like half that me up to about half health. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not, that's not the worst. So you guys make it back to... To the main camp. Um, 
the guards on duty, obviously a little wary at the fact that you're coming in with a group of 13 goblins, but uh, the escort is about, the, about double the size. You, know, you got about two uh, of the fairy, tr fairy legion for every one goblin. Now escorting you guys to the to your primus. And I assume the female troll is also in tow with you guys. I would imagine that the female troll would be traversing with us. Yes. All right. Uh, you guys approach uh, the. You approach Thorn's tent. I have an acquisitions to make once we get there. Hail Primus. I bring news from the front. Thorn steps out of his tent, sees you, sees a secondary troll, sees a group of goblins. Fiddlesby, you have done remarkably well. I could not come, have come, done come. it without the great uh, assistance of good Sir Gaiden here. Oh, yes, I will. <coughs> once, once the whole mission is done, I will expect a full report and commendations to be handed out. Um, yes. I, uh, your your troll seems to be a little worse for wares. Uh, shall I he is some... in need of medical attention and snackage. Arg is in perfectly fine shape. He just decided on a new outfit choice. In which half of his intestines is is out. It's a stylistic expression of my feelings. If you want to say so. Magnificent. Well, I wouldn't want to impose upon your, your troop, Biddlesby, so uh, should any materials be uh, beneficial to, to your troop? I'd be more than happy to facilitate the transfer of medical supplies or things of that nature. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, perhaps uh, some of the supplies could be uh, prepared in uh, crates for travel uh, to move to our forward operating base. Okay. I will. Uh, he like gestures over to some of the like legionnaires at the guard, like guarding his tent, and goes, "You go, go fetch quartermaster. Have him do the things to get medical supplies ready to be transported." And he like leans in really close and whispers to to the guy. I would like to roll an awareness to to hear what Okay. What is what is said. Okay. If that is Yeah, Arg Arg would Arg uh, is curious as well, so give give a uh, an awareness roll. Well Biddlesby is just happy uh to be home and uh that's a nat one. <laughs> Arg got a 19. Well, Arg, um... Biddlesby is distracted. And while Biddlesby is distracted, you overhear the the Primus clear as day. Because uh, he is not very good at uh, keeping his excitement levels and volume levels low. Um, but you hear him say, and, and bring a handful of poultices and leave them near the troll. He'll take care of himself. I guess no problems with that. <laughs> uh, but Thorn looks at you guys and goes, All right, Fiddlesby, um, I assume... Well, you brought a troop of goblins, so I assume some things have gone very well. So... 
Are these the leaders of God? The uh, yes. Of tribe. Where are my manners? Here is good Sir Rugger, the leader of the Dark Fang tribe. This is Slink Skulk, the leader of the Blood Fang tribe. And, of course, Karu, the warrior chief of the War Tusks. And I assume all of you have agreed to join join uh join us instead of joining the larger iron spike horde which yeah the yes 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 and all the other jazz happens all right so let us biddlesby and leaders of the various tribes come into my tent sit down and we will make accords yes and while uh, that happens <laughs> Gaiden and uh, Arg, you, Arg, you notice the courier who left came back and several yeah, uh, alchemical supplies, poultices, bandages fell out of his hands near you. Arg is going to stealthily pick them up. <laughs> Alright, make a stealth check. And that would be a 15. All right. You you deftly pull up the poultices and stuff. No one noticing Arg the Troll's magnificent sneaky abilities. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Gaiden, Arg, you guys are free to, to move about. Um, Biddlesby, you are in the tent where you meet a sprite as well as thorn inside ah i need to put in an acquisitions request okay uh so you're going to the quartermaster yes all right quartermaster it is what are you putting in a request for um <clears throat> so how many kilograms can a handcart hold a... That's a really good question. The standardized hand cart, uh, if you're talking like wheelbarrow size, probably about 120, give or take a little bit. Stretch yeah. load, 50 to 70 would be more comfortable. If you want to do a standard loaded, like military grade hand cart, as in a so team of soldiers would pull it, you'd probably be looking at about 540 kilograms, give or take a little bit. I will if go with that answer. To... <laughs> that is the answer I am going Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, size down. We're dealing with elves. Right. So, so yeah, cut that down to so a third. Yeah, so, what was the, yeah, so what was the small, medium, and large? Uh, small would be uh, 25 kilograms, and uh, standard military would be 270. That's good enough for me. <laughs> So 25, 100 for like two soldiers, and then a team of something would be 250, 240? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And by a team, you also have a troll that could carry it. Nice. There is no I in team. Oh, yeah. So oh, the troll could probably pull team. the medium just fine. Oh, the troll could probably pull the large. Okay. By itself. <laughs> okay. I mean. That Keep in mind, the troll's like, what, nine foot tall, eight foot tall, something like that? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, uh, nine, three, and 540 pounds of I will rip you to pieces. So, and, yeah. Uh, I asked the quartermaster if he has, um, two large carts. Uh, and then, um, 20 small carts. Make a influence check. Okay. You are, you are asking for a lot of resources. And then that's that's not it. So, <laughs> <laughs> what what'd you get? Um, I'm I I haven't yet. Oh, okay. But I'm just telling you that's that's not that's not <laughs> it. That that's not your specialty. <laughs> um, 
But remember, you're the charmer. Exactly. I could probably come up with a contraption and trade as well, though. Um, you said influence. Influence. I can. I can do that. <laughs> I Can I get sound. some assistance with this? Is there anybody in here? <laughs> nobody. Nobody is around. with you right now, buddy. I look over my shoulder. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> so it's a natural one. <laughs> I love this. Uh, the quartermaster looks to you with the most severe, severe, like gaze. Like, guy, I, I'm sure you don't know who I am, but I know you. <laughs> I also know your reputation. As he leans in across the table and goes, especially with my sister. Oh. Hey, that's neither here nor... It might be there, but it's definitely not here. I'm just trying to get some stuff done, all right? I will give you two standard cards. And that's only okay. because the Primus, for whatever reason, believes in your mission. Okay. Um, and then if I give you, if I do some, uh, some things that go on your face to help you see real far, would you be interested in something like that for, like, some, some wheat flour and, uh, some meat? You need more food. <sighs> yeah, you... You do have a troll. Like, okay. 1800 Libra of wheat flour and like <clears throat> uh, 1200 of meat. He, he looks at you like flabbergasted by the amount of food you're asking for. <laughs> he goes, I'll give you both of the carts full of food. We can do that. I mean, aside yeah. from like, if you brought in your troll and you the troll's got that backpack, you can load whatever else into the backpack. Okay. <sighs> we can do that, I think. And I'll bring, uh, I'll bring something by later. I think you're gonna like it. I'll bring a couple sets by. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, you have received your acquisitions. Arg, make me another medicine check with advantage because you're using yeah. medicine. Do, do, do. All right, that is an 11. All right. Uh I will I Arg is still that... trying to be sneaky, so. Yeah, you're 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 still sneaking, but you're you put the poultices on your stomach, you wrap it. Um it will heal uh after today like t tonight you'll be fully healed. Um, but traveling back to Biddlesby inside the tent mm -hmm. with our new sprite friend. Ooh, yes. Uh, King Mochi. What, what? what do I see <laughs> looking, looking at this sprite? Uh, if you would like to describe what your sprite looks like. You see... What a normal to small sized winged man, orange skin, light leather armor with a bow in his hand, uh, just patrolling around. Uh, what's what's your character's name, by the way? Uh, Delian Soul. Delian. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna have to write that down real quick. Give me one second. Yes. Do you want uh, to spell it out? Yep. Give me one moment. Let me get to the right spot. Okay. D. L. I. A. N. And then soul. S O L. E. Or S O L. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is uh, the the benefit of a new person joining. I don't have all the notes down on my side. <laughs> Saul all right. good. So, all right, Wedge. 
Uh, you walk in. Uh, Commander Thorn goes, Biddlesby, this is Delian. Delian Soul, a, uh, a druid who is um, going to accompany you on your mission and be a part of your guys' um, auxiliary unit. Well, good Sir Dillian, are you adept with trolls? With bows? No, trolls. Tro trolls? Yes, uh, trolls. I've met one or two. Met one or two? Well, the fact that you are still here to tell the tale after your meetings is a good enough sign for me. And I welcome you aboard. And he, uh, okay. Biddlesby reaches out for that, like, forehand, forearm, like, clasp handshake. <laughs> I, I weirdly grab your fist. Nice to meet you. Um, um, you do notice that the sprite is not armored in the standard issued legionnaire uniform. Um, they have more of a, like a, more of a warlock's, uh, yeah, like the warlock medic and such, like their kind of uniforms. Huh. Great to send you my cord. Cord. Huh? Do you want me to send you my, uh, character sheet? Uh, you can. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh, just you know, because you're uh -huh. because you are the the class that you are. You're you're drabbed in not frontline uniform. You're 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 a yeah. mage. So you got the mage uniform on. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh Thorn goes. I figured requisitioning a specialist for your unit would. Uh, not go amiss. You guys are a little light on the the magics, so I put in a requisition. We got him post haste. Uh, you guys have been gone for a while, so um, please uh, inform me of what is going on. What what agreements have been made amongst these tribes, and you as our representative, Biddlesby. All right. Well, Raga seeks a position of uh, authority over some of the uh, goblin troop that would come into our number. Uh, essentially, the three of these individuals, more than command uh, enough respect in their number to see them demoted to the standard rank and number goblin would be an insult to not only them but their tribe and we may lose their favor if, in doing so so we must keep these elevated in some sort of status to keep uh, the rest of the goblins together that makes sense so these three are to be elevated to respectable positions amongst uh, the auxiliary and once we finally get this front closed I will well before I get before we get this front closed I will make sure that our um, our tribune will uh, make sure that there are marks of where these people these illustrious fine gentlemen shall be placed in the hierarchy on one of our forts where they can call home all right but we will have to see the this front closed before that can happen. The 
of course. In in an official capacity. Um, understood. Now I've I've given my word that that these goblins would would receive these titles and rank. Yes, and as as far as they shall be inducted as auxiliary units, similar to your current um, special assignment. Um, and as such, these three shall remain in their leadership roles. It is post the, the war on this front being drawn to a close that I will have to consult the Tribune and maybe even the Legate to ensure that the 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 goblin tribe leaders are able to maintain their positions uh, in the grander society understood <laughs> ah, so i will i will consult them a little bit further on specific details um and not cutting you out but i'll speak but you have other matters to attend to with provisions and yes. ensuring uh, you can get uh, Delian caught up with the rest of your team and make sure that you guys have what you need to set out to finish um, finish up with the last two tribes of goblins. All right. Now these uh, grim claws in the stone guts. I hear. I hear things about them. They may be strong foes indeed. So I'll come back with a list of things before our next uh, venture out. Uh, any lists that you have of uh, procurements, you go through the quartermaster. He's already been told to whatever is reasonable to give you guys to assist in your mission. You've already done wonderful things. I am excited to see what you can do with these last two, and then we can bring the the proper fight to the Iron Spikes. All right. Sounds like a plan. Well, Dillian, shall we? I kind of like uh, open yes, the sir. tent, tent <laughs> flap. <laughs> Thank you. You guys leave. Uh, you you can see Gaiden dealing with two carts and trying to get people to help him move the carts around. <laughs> oh 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 my! Arg walks over. Arg walks over and just picks up one of the carts like with a hand. Yeah. Where do you want this? You watch Arg pick up the cart and just the bandage he has over his stomach just immediately red. <laughs> yup. I just go. He's going to make it worse before it gets better. <laughs> you see what Where we have to deal this? with? And I like gesture at the troll over to Dillian. Is that the is that the troll Arg, we were talking about? Yes, this is the troll of which I does see. He, Arg, does he require healing? I believe, uh, yes, yes, he is in need. Yes. Okay, how do the how do the spells work? All right, so, like, if you were going to use, seeing how this is the first time where this is the first spell that has ever been cast in DC twenty for us. First spellcaster. Um, first spellcaster. First spell. <laughs> um, let me see. So, for a healing spell... Another spare runes, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm trying to see which one. I know you got, like, one of your cantrips is, like, a close wounds or a heal of some sort. I'm trying to see uh, what that. Page 124. Ah, close wounds. Okay, so... Can I use the one mana point, the spell to heal? Oh yeah, you can, you can do that. Uh, you have to roll a 
So for just the for a regular old heal, um, make a DC 10 spell check. If successful, you heal the target for three hit points. Um, each success of uh, five above 10, so like 15 or 20, you heal an extra one hit point. A natural 20 gives a plus two hit points. Ooh. So that would heal five and then an additional two, so it would be seven hit point heal if you get a nat 20. Okay. So I roll a DC 10 first, right? Yeah, you, you roll a D20, you're trying to get your spell check. And oh, okay. it, it is a DC 10, so that is your difficulty number, is a 10. And if you touch him, you will heal him an additional hit point as well. I got a 4. Okay. Um... So you will heal him for three hit points. Uh, here you go, Sir Troll. Uh, it's not much, but it's... I tried. Um, you can also, if you wanted to, spend more of your mana points to increase the amount of hit points you uh, heal him by three. For each mana point you spend. Well, uh, so. I guess we'll spend two more then. Right, so then, if you wanted to, you could you could spend two mana points and you would heal him six hit points altogether. Wouldn't it be nine? Uh, it would be nine if you spent all if you spent three. Uh, but if you just did two, yeah. it would be six. Then, then six. Yeah. Yeah. And so, are you doing six hit points or nine hit points to him? Six. Okay. Arg, you watch lights emit from this new little sprite kind of like Gaiden um, he touches your leg and you watch these lights fly into you and you are healing up six hit points what did you do to Arg uh, just some light touch ups it didn't hurt or anything touch ups right? Arg was in perfect health why would he hurt uh it was a different perfect. Now you're more. Per now you're more you're... perfect. Ark cannot be more perfect. He's pinnacle of perfection. Now you're two pinnacles of perfection. Is is that a joke? Uh, Arg is very confused and slightly uncomfortable. Arg is going to go help move these cards. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> it's okay. Arg is socially awkward to begin with. <laughs> because hey, Arg. Arg is not socially awkward. Social circumstances just run away from Arg. <laughs> Arg. Do you, yeah. do you think your backpack can hold 80 stones? Why? Like, like eight stones weighing one kilogram. One kilogram. Why do you want to know? How much can your backpack hold, Arg? What is it supposed to hold? Looks what like... stuff do you want to put in the bag? Well, how much stuff can I put in the bag? Now, what what are you trying to add to the bag? Not how much. A lot. As much as it can hold. Right, but what? Um, Rope, guided. Stone, it seems our of... troll would yeah. like to know what you're putting in his uh, carrying case. <laughs> Are you Stuff trying to put food bread. in his backpack? <laughs> food. Food bread? goes in his backpack. Food. Yeah. Bread. Um, few minutes. Be right back. Um, I am going to arg is going to um, expand his backpack as quickly as he can. Okay. <laughs> For more food. <laughs> and and how, how big would that be expanded to? <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm going to find out. How, uh, what would I roll for this? Okay. Um, let no, me... wait a minute. Um, is there a... Oh, let's see here. Um, 
Right. Okay. So uh, the backpacks are basically like uh, a sack with a with a cord at the top and a harness to hang it on the shoulders, right? Normally, yes. Okay. Your backpack is like what they would use to put on like uh, like what humans would put on a horse. Yeah. Ark is going to take the harness off of his bag and grab a tent and and run it through the harness like the bag was and tie it in place. You guys watch as a tent disappears out of the formation of tents. <laughs> How did he do that? As Arg. That's Arg. What? Steals a person's tent and then proceeds to turn it into a bigger backpack. <laughs> Arg can fit um, this much. You, you see the one of the legionnaires like just the like walk. <laughs> you watch one of the legionnaires walk up. That's my tent. <laughs> Arg turns and I say, to him and yeah. very kindly says. You are mistaken. And I'm going to intimidate. Oh, okay, no. then. <laughs> Check. That would be a 19 uh, plus 3, so 22. <clears throat> I am almost 100% certain that will work, but let me... Oh, yeah. He goes... I was mistaken. I must not have nailed my tent down properly, and it blew away in the wind. Dangerous <laughs> winds in the tunnel. You will find it. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you go get food from Gaiden, the the gnome walks over to Biddlesby. He took my tent. <laughs> but he says it really quietly. Ah. Uh, just, uh. Here. Yeah. And I hand, I hand a couple of gold to him. He takes the gold, puts it in his pocket. He goes, ah, that's not my tent anyway. <laughs> 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 I'll find another one. <laughs> Good luck to Arg you, soldier. looks at the... Looks at... So, um... The guy didn't put, like, a regular backpack's worth of food in the bag, right? And so Arg is like, right back. And he runs to the quartermaster. Need food. Quartermaster just looks at you and goes, Okay. <laughs> um... Not bread please <laughs> oh, okay um he takes he he walks over to you and he goes up uh, follow me and he takes you over to one of the tents that um, used to not be there <laughs> uh, and goes inside there is all the food allocated to you for the next week, at least, um, you're free to take as much as you want. Is that tent the same size as my tent? It's bigger, and he looks at you and says, leave the tent alone. Don't eat this tent. <laughs> Please, don't eat the tent. Don't take, don't do anything to the tent. Just go in, take the food out of the tent, and, and go do your missions. <laughs> Arg, have you filled your backpack up Arg yet? Is, Arg We're is not ready to start getting information. As, as he realizes he can take some, but not all of the food, and he is is very conflicted. He's like standing there looking at the bag and looking at the tent and looking at the bag and looking at the tent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, as the quartermaster leaves Arg and walks back over, he looks at you, Biddlesby, and he goes, Keep your troll under a tight leash. Um... Excuse I've already me. had to replace. I already had to replace the supply tent. Like, I've already had to replace the supply tent. I, I hear you, but are you gonna tell him no? 
That's your job. You're his handler. Okay. Watch what I'm happens when I tell him when I tell him something. Watch this. You know, walk no, up. No, 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 no. I don't need to watch. I don't need to know. You're his handler. You make sure the tent stays in place. I don't need to replace another one. Those are difficult to come by. Okay. I will I will make sure that the tent is there. That's all I need. Just all right. take all the food you want out of it. Just leave the tent alone. Understood. I walk over to Arg. <laughs> hey, Arg. Just Arg, shoveling as much food as possible and smashing the food down into the, like, the tent. <laughs> meticulously stacking and taking up as much, removing wrappers as much as is possible and binding stuff together as tightly as he can and just like condensing as much of the food in the tent into the bag as he can. I just look at everything being like smushed together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cheeses. Oddly enough, none of the bread is in the bag. <laughs> I look at the big pile of bread that's on one of the tables. Yep, you just see a massive amount of bread. And like, all of the meat, all of the cheeses, all of every other food stuff going in. <sighs> and I could probably fit a couple of more if I shift these like this and Arg. I can hang, I, I can hang, I can hang the onions from my belt. That works. Arg. Yeah, okay, Arg. okay. Onions Arg. from the belt, all right. Bandalores and onions. Like, and carrots. I, I, I have it. I, he's like, he's got barrels and a bandolier across his chest. No. But of food. Arg. I will say, Arg has, like, maxed out his weight on food. Arg. What? Arg is busy! We have carts now to put some of the extra stuff that can't fit in your bags or on your pool. Extra food, yes. Food to share with others. Next you're telling me to give it to the goblins! My food! But, I mean, some of this food is to be shared with the rest of the troop and the goblins. Oh, yes. That pile! He points to the bread. The rest is args! Um... <laughs> You do realize we all need meat and dairy and all the other necessary nutrients, right, Arg? Wells have green hair sometimes. Just, just know that what you've Wells put into your hair. tent bag is not just for you. All right. Do elves have green hair? Not all. Some of them. Some of them do, and that means that all elves are plants. Plants don't eat. Okay, now wait a second. <laughs> that is... That, that logic does not track. <laughs> are plants green? Some plants are green. Some are plants... Are elves green? Not wait. all elves are green. Exactly. Some plants are green. Some elves are green. Elves are plants. Sir Arg. What? Some plants eat that are green. Ah, yes. Like, like Arg the has a fly new appreciation for plants. And this is still Arg's food. Uh, no. That has to be shared with all of us, Arg. No. <laughs> no. Just no. <laughs> Sir Brittle B. Yeah. Are, are, are all tools like this, or is it just him? Oh, this is, uh... This is the most agreeable troll that we've ever encountered. Oh. I think I've met two more agreeable trolls then. Really? Because the other two I met were not like this. Oh. What did they do? Did they just try and eat you? <laughs> no, they kind of just ignored me. Really? Yeah. 
well. Uh, quick, while he's not looking, just snag some of the meat and cheese out of his pack. <laughs> oh, where I'm not snagging it. Oh, where you can you right can now. get it there. <laughs> Yeah, right, I like my hair. Really, sorry, it's 22. Okay, uh, you guys are, like, discussing some of the finer points. You notice, like, Arg's gaze does not break away from his, like, he has the food in his hands, and he's shoving more in, and he's watching everyone around him. If there's movement, he sees it. <laughs> I'm gonna fly up. Up into the air. I'm Guy, going up there with you. Fiddlesby, would yeah. you like to enjoy being with the food that I have? So, you, you I can probably fit you in there. my bag. So, listen, Arg. That's not how this goes. You have permission to shove evil goblins in your food pack and replenish your snack packs. Declaring all of this food pack. yours is not right. It is not okay, and not what we are uh, we're about. Arg thinks that you are making wide sweeping statements that should only be applied to a small section of the populace. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just, I just really think that you. Walking into this tent and just being like, mine, 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 mine. It's going to end up with you being all alone again, Arg. Arg seems to recall talking it over with the quartermaster and getting permission to take as much food as he could carry. <sighs> I walk back over to the quartermaster. Please tell me that the tent's okay. Was it you who told him he could take as much as he wanted? Um, I said whatever he can take out of that tent is... That's Berg at this point walks food. out with <laughs> the tent's worth of food on him. Like, like, he's having trouble walking. Right, uh huh. From the way to the bag, and it's it's all one trip. Stuff. It's all uh -huh. one trip. It's it's yep. it's the one trip from the from the grocery store. <laughs> yep. You see barrels strapped to him, like like grenades or like dynamite would be. <laughs> he has he has bunches of food just all over him. And uh, yeah, Ard comes strolling by with this massive. <laughs> tent of food like, he staggers out of the tent sees everybody watching him and straightens up and just sort of nonchalantly strolls away like mm, this is nothing just going for a walk <laughs> um everybody watches our just walk away with all of the food as the quartermaster goes to be fair thorn did say that that food the, the food in the tent was basically put aside for you guys, but mostly the troll, because he eats so much. <sighs> he goes, I mean, do you guys need extra supplies for for not the troll? <laughs> yes. I mean... <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright. Go into the second tent. <laughs> I wait until Arg is far, far away for me to go into the second tent. Yeah, you, you go into the second tent after Arg is staging, ready to go back to back to camp. Yeah. All right. Uh, I wave a couple of soldiers over to move the carts into position to be loaded. All right, you carts get moved over. All right. I start, like, chucking in supplies into the cart. Yep. You guys load up the you guys load up the carts with supplies? Yes. 
Uh, yeah. While you guys are doing that, Arg... Um, and cover it. Uh-huh. Uh, the armored goblin comes up to you. Arg. Hello. He reaches out yes. a hand and he goes, We we share um, something in common. Okay. You have a mark on you. Yes. And he points to he points to the glowing symbol you can see on his face and he goes, similar to the one I have on me. Actually, I, I don't think if Arg knows about that. Arg does not know about it. Arg knows that he saw the glowing symbol on the goblin's face. And you were you were drawn to it. Something deep inside you was drawn to it. Arg is not unsure of what you, what you are referring to. He goes, You're not the same as others, much like I am not the same as the rest of... And he points to the other goblins, the rest of them. We're elevated. As he okay. speaks in, um, what is it, Infernal? Is that the... Yeah. Yeah. He speaks to you in Infernal and you understand um, what he's saying. Fiendish, specifically. Okay, Fiendish, yeah. You, you understand some of the words he's saying in Fiendish. Actually, I, I speak better Fiendish than I do common, so... You understand all of the words he says remarkably well. Surprisingly. Uh, I believe that you might have something to say to me on the subject, but I'm unaware of where this might be coming from or how. I know I'm different, but I'm unaware of why. Uh, in, in Fiendish, he tells you... Well, we share a common... Ah, kinship isn't the right word, but... Um, associates. Um, experimented. And we were... Test subjects of such thing. And so... You mean the little red guys? Yes, they... Well, they... You remember the war, right? Which war is he talking about? The war against the, the humans. Um, I don't think Ark would remember that. He's a troll, so... Right, right, right. That's why I'm, I'm, he's asking, because he doesn't know how much you do know. <laughs> he goes... Um... Go ahead. No... So you know what a human is. Yeah. So we, uh, we, any gestures to all of everyone around, fought against the humans. The little red guys. But they tried to make us strong enough to stand against them. And so began, uh, began experimenting. We I, are... A, I just... Just what? I just found one in a tunnel and chased it away and then got hit by lightning. So I'm not sure what you're talking about, but. Ooh, even better. Not a purposeful um, mutation. This is good. This is very good. Right, can we I fly over to Ark? You, you fly over as you watch yeah. like this armored goblin like rubbing his hands together in the like evilish like <laughs> yes yes and as you fly over he goes we will have more to discuss in our future dealings with the other goblin tribes is he talking fiendish still or is he back to no he went gnomish. back to normal he went back to gnomish arg okay with the idea arg talk lots Yes. He looks over. Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to meet. Uh, no, I'm, I'm new here. What are you, uh, what are you, uh, doing over, over here? 
out just discussing future plans with our illustrious troll friend here. Uh, how long have how long have you you known him? Oh, about four days now. Oh, well, that's that's swell. You think you could uh, go go away? <laughs> well, that's a little rude, but. My business with him to today is over, so yes, I can go away. Thank, thank you. <laughs> he walks back over to the uh, group of goblins and starts gesturing, and uh, you hear raucous laughter come from the goblins. Um, Sir Arg. Yes. I know he didn't look the most trustworthy from my view. Okay. I don't, I don't think well, that you should follow his plans. Little Pixie, Arg tell you secret. Arg trust nobody. Ever. Well, that's good. Okay, good talk. Uh huh. <laughs> Enjoy your food. I fly back. I fly away. <laughs> <laughs> just you fly away from Arg now. <laughs> as he just he like squats down and looks at you. I trust no one. <laughs> Have a good day. It's Ooh. kind of terrifying that, you know, you're like a foot and a half tall, maybe two foot, and this nine foot tall giant gorilla with tusks just leans down at you and like hovers over you as he says it. <laughs> you fly back over to our Gaiden and Biddlesby. As he Sir flies away. Ark maybe invite you to dinner later. By whom? Me. You're gonna invite yourself? Arg in no, Arg invite you to dinner later, maybe. Me? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe. Uh, okay. If I don't like you. <laughs> oh, have a good day. I fly away so fast. <laughs> uh, so be you, be. Yep, you see uh, Delian come flying in like a bat out of hell. So it'll be scary. What, Og, the, the troll? <laughs> Who else? Uh, well, yes. It, Make sure you're traveling with someone when dealing with Arg. Never go by yourself, lest he devour you and we not know what happened to you. Why are we in a party with him then? I, I look Dillian dead in the face. Because no one else will. Oh, okay. All right, you guys, I assume you guys have gathered up all your supplies. You guys are ready to move out? Oh, yes. yes. I've gathered okay. my supplies. Um, I look over at Dillian and I say, do you need any other equipment before we leave? Was... I, I can't. I can't hold much, so I think this is fine. All right. Well, it's a couple of days travel to the to the camp, so be ready. The goblins uh, start walking towards the gate, and the, they look around. They're you know chatting. They're talking a little bit of smack on the legionnaires and stuff like that. Nothing serious, just you know, place playful little jabs and whatnot. And, and you know, yeah. you guys are on your way. Um, let me check and see if anything wild happens while you guys are rolling around. Oh, no. So we will do the standard. Uh, nope, nothing happened. Okay. Well. You guys make it back to camp unaccosted by anything. Nice. I guess you, you roll on, uh, on your D6s. Yep. And, and they were all not ones or sixes. Nice. <laughs> oh my so goodness. you guys, 
Thank you for the follow. You didn't have to, but thank you. All right. Continue. You guys make it to camp. And you guys have... A massive amount of supplies um, with the carts. And you guys have five days until the stone tr stone guts get there. Five days. Uh, I would like to spend the first half a day just kind of like getting uh, Dillian accustomed to the forward operating. Um, as you guys actually start taking stock of, like, the camp and everything, you notice, like, since you guys have been gone, they have been busy. Mm -hmm. The trenches are um, more, not pronounced, but there's, there's more of them, and they're able to hold slightly larger bulks, um, like, proper fortifications have begun to be built. Like Proper it, fortifications are here. Yeah, like, you guys are getting, like, like the goblins are chipping away chunks of rock, hauling them back, and making a, like, stone wall, uh, yeah, towers, the, the whole nine. They are militarizing this zone. Wonderful. Mm. Uh, does... Gaiden's little perch look more well uh, defended. Um, yes, and it's not just Gaiden's little perch anymore. There are several perches up there. Ooh. I, I point those out to Dillian. I say, if you're ever in trouble, use your wings to fly into one of those... Uh, places to get a vantage point of the battlefield. Yeah, you can see, like, various bows and stuff up there, like, barrels of arrows and things. Why do you why do you have that place? There's, like, two sprites. Unless there's more I'm not seeing. Uh, oh, wait, when you're in camp, you are surrounded by, like, 800 goblins <laughs> at this point. It's mostly goblins... The troll, me, Gaiden, and then you. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is yeah. the vantage point then? It was for you and Gaiden. Just... Oh, are do are we going to be here a lot? Well, yes. This is our forward operating base. Oh, this is more than I thought it would be. This is well, it wasn't all this when we left a couple of days ago. Oh. That's good. Haru walks up and goes, I told the boys to make sure it was uh, done up properly. Well, we appreciate Just in case things happen. As he walks off. <laughs> Who was that? That was... That's the armored goblin that you talked to earlier. Uh... That was Garu, the leader of the War Tusk clan and I point out their banner yeah it oh, looks like a big warthog <laughs> once once we get back to camp I want to go find a workshop or is there a workshop there is a rude smithy oh no and like, oh, like no 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 this what like, not do it's it's a crude workshop no 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 all right, I'm gonna call a couple goblins over. I'm gonna and I'm gonna see if we can get this place biffed up and get these tools upgraded. Uh, All right. I, I have some some glass to blow. All right. Well, then in that case, you 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 know what you're gonna have to give me. I will allow Biddlesby to to help you with the influence. I I there can I can assist. And uh. I also oh we also ha need to get the supplies negotiated to the goblins as well. <coughs> so yes, I'll help or Biddlesby help me and I'll help Biddlesby. Yes. Child from Switzerland. Yes. And okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I was I read I read chat. Sorry. 
<laughs> um, but uh, so what's the influence check? Uh, influence. Uh, eighteen total. Eighteen total, and then Gaiden, give me an influence as well. It is. Seventeen. Oh yeah, you. With both of you guys like directing exactly what you're, what's going on, you guys are able to like, get things moving in the like you're wanting, um. The workstation, the workshop, to be improved so that it's not just a. A crude workshop, um, and then supplies are getting moved around. The commander's doing commander things of like. Oi, we need these things over here. This tower needs to be taller. Yeah, doing doing the the you are in charge of this thing, Biddlesby, and Gaiden doing the uh, we we need these things over here. We need this taking care of business. Yes. <laughs> um, let me see how long it will take them to get those. Supplies being distributed is, yeah, you know, not even a whole day. It is done remarkably quickly. The workshop is going to take five days to get uh, upgraded. Oh boy! Just because the materials that they're that you're needing for it are, it's a little bit more sophisticated than the goblin yeah. workers are used to dealing with. Long time. I'm going to disappoint the quartermaster. But Can I attempt to motivate them to move quicker? Um, but I don't think so, just because this is like... They're trying to... Like, Guidance explaining what needs to be done. And it is beyond okay. their scope yeah. of being able to do it proficiently. So they are, <clears throat> they're doing their best. It's just, their best is going to take some time. And whenever I have to teach uh, these, like, certain skills, I want to make sure I'm using the same goblins. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're using the worker goblins. All right. Um, is there a uh, way I could send a message to the quartermaster? Uh, Do we have that capability to send messages down here? Not not at the moment. We would need to set up an express. An express or like a... Like a I don't know what the equivalent of a carrier pigeon would be. The carrier Do we have lizard? Messenger lizard. Messenger it's a messenger lizard. lizard. Let Do me... we have mounts? Mounts? I don't yeah. think you guys have any mounts at the moment. No. You guys don't. But the... The, the people like the the folk do. Yeah. So we will <clears throat> see. Oh no! The Vortorb escaped. Roll a. What would it be? What would it be? Give me one second. Um. Roll an animal handling check. Wait, I could probably do that. For the animal handling, or yeah, the animal, or like even send the animal. I can, I think I can talk to them. Okay, you think you could find a a group of uh, carrier animals to set up as a express, like a animal express? I'll, probably. I won't say the actual name of. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, cool. What is all right? What does Beast Whisperer do? I think it was like I can talk to him. I believe so. And they yeah. understand me. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure that's what that is. Okay. Are there any like birds in the sky? Uh, you're underground, so you have lizards around. But okay, make an animal handling check with advantage, so you get to roll twice. Take the higher of the two. Uh, that is a 20. 
A natural 20 or a... Natural uh, 20. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you... <laughs> nice. Um, so, the Pony Express of lizards is established almost immediately. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, Delian just out here, like, orchestrating with amazing precision to get these lizards in, like proper messenger capacity to just do the thing. Okay, little Almost guys. Like you you guys gotta send every message with precision and speed. Yeah, you, you knock it out of the park. You just... These are the most highly trained lizards that have ever been lizards. And have been trained. <laughs> uh, Gaiden, the, you have you have a whole like you have a whole colony of lizards able to be able to send messages back and forth. Heck yeah! All right. We just um, got another YouTube subscribe. Thank you. Heck yeah. Yeah, so I'm uh, gonna go ahead and write out a message to the to the um, the the primus. Yeah, the quarter the quartermaster. Sorry. Okay. And I'm gonna explain. Uh, so it seems the goblin workshop is not quite up to par as what I was needing. Uh, we've got upgrades in the progress. Um, site site cows will be on the way soon and I fold it up and I hand it to um, Dalian Delian Delian and uh, and I say please send this to the quartermaster at the main camp yeah. yes sir and I hand it to one of the lizards and they scurry off Yep, they fuck. They gone at at breakneck speed. This lizard is gone, and it knows exactly where it's going. Like you have imparted the wisdom of how to get there and what to do whenever they they send a reply. The whole nine. In in an afternoon, you you made the carrier messenger. Them. Yeah, the messenger lizards <laughs> in an afternoon. No. Sure does help well, be able to talk to them. <laughs> so yeah, the lizard dips out. It's gonna be gone for a couple days because you know it's it's booking it, but it's <coughs> still a lizard. So it's gonna be gone for a couple days, getting there and back. So you guys have a couple more days. Any further things that you want to do, or do we are we ready to move the timetable forward to the stone guts? I think, I think that's what we Art got. was excessively displeased with how the fight went, so he spends these five days training. You know, monks out training, punching rocks and stuff like that. Uh, Just trying to get better. Yeah, you help. You kind of help the goblins uh, mine stone by punching the rocks and the rocks just crumbling and them picking up some of the bigger rocks and just walking off with the rocks. You can spend the five days farthest away from Arg. <laughs> yeah, you're just watching Arg over here, just punching a pure stone wall into, like, powdered, smaller rocks. Doing, like, the, the Rocky Balboa, just Eye of the Tiger, onto this wall. <laughs> yeah, like, full-on... Like not speed bagging, speed bagging it, but at the same time just beating the dickens out of a wall. Uh huh. <laughs> um, I would like to, uh, with the help of Slink Skulk and uh, Garu, uh, shore up our defenses, uh, reinforce those like uh, sabotage tunnels, and. Uh, make it to where if the uh, stone guts choose violence they regret it instantly 
Yep, uh, with your with your 18 influence, you are making sure those things are happening. Oh, man, my nose. Sorry about that. Ah. Is, is everyone there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I thought I heard somebody disconnect. I was just making sure. Oh, sorry. My, my chair is gaming. Welcome in. You're good. All right. So, yeah, with your 18 influence earlier, the, the modifications and everything, everything's looking spectacular. Um, final day. You, you hear the goblins approaching. Uh, when you see the goblins, they are in what looks like Dorvan plate. Shields and spears. Since when did goblins align with dwarves? Their, their marching style is similar to the war tusks. Um, however... They are much more, like, tightly compact, like, shoulder to shoulder. Sir, Sir Biddlesby? Yes. Do we dislike dwarves? It's not that we dislike dwarves, it's... Goblins and dwarves are notorious for not getting along. You see, goblins and their affinity for flames, they... Uh, dwarves don't really like fire. Wait, the dwarves don't like fire? Well, why do you need fire when you can unhinge your jaw and dig a tunnel? Because they like making stuff, no? Mm, not really. Really? Yeah. Oh. I've only... They've, I've only met dwarves at, like, bars where they drunk a lot of alcohol. Ah, understood. Yes, tall tales from a drunken dwarf is, uh, not much to go on, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was all. But yes, it seems they've picked up some tactics and things. Garu, what do you make of this? He looked out and goes, well... Their armor and weapons are scavenged from the war. You can tell by some of the rust on the blades. Ah, good. Good eye. Ah, uh, yeah. He sees this, like, 600 yards away. Yeah. <laughs> and he's pointing out rust on the blades. Yeah, and uh, Biddlesby is just like, ah, yes, good. No idea it's there. <laughs> yep. But they seem to be a disciplined lot. Nice, good formation. Tight. Do you... Shall we crush them? Do you suspect that they will parlay? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not... You were the first one I've uh, talked to and didn't um, subjugate. <laughs> well, let's see if we uh, talk to this one and whether or not we have to, I turn and look at him, subjugate. <laughs> My kind of Biddlesby commander. He slaps you on the shoulder and it, it hurts. Oh, yeah. It hurts. <laughs> yeah, Biddlesby gets that, like, <laughs> look on his face. So who do you want to go with you? Um, I think, uh, Gaiden and, uh, Dillian, if I could have you both in the, uh, upper, you know, hidey spots up there at the top of the cave. You'd have great vantage points to swoop down in case of uh, need, or perhaps you, with your druidic powers, you could, I don't know, cause a cave-in on their main forces if it, if necessary. <laughs> I could. 
So I see several stalactites you... hanging over their uh, army formation. Do you want me to? Not right now. We'll just wait for the signal. <laughs> What's the signal? Um, if uh, here's the signal. If I go and talk with these uh, goblins, and then they make like they're going to attack me, that's the signal. Don't let them okay. attack me. Or if they do attack me, kill their army. <laughs> uh, okay. Can do. All right. Uh, Gaiden, is, does that work for you? Yes. All right. Og, are you... Able to do your invisibility and stay in the uh, sidelines until it goes bad? Arg is looking distinctly unhappy. Arg, Arg looks unhappy. <laughs> are, are, are those dwarves? No, they're not dwarves. They're goblins in dwarf gear they pilfered off of some corpses. Do you think they got some of the strength of the dwarves from the armor? Well, I don't... I don't think that's how that works, Ark, but... But it might! Oh. Ark's anger has a brief moment where you can see a little bit of, uh... An emotion that Arg has not shown before. Yeah. Okay. Um, Arg? Just... Yes. Wait in the sidelines. If things go bad, do what you do best. Okay, yes. Arg is best. Arg is most warlike. Arg will hide. Should I roll a check with this advantage? Uh, no, I will give you, uh, I will give you advantage because you don't want to face the dwarves, and you're not 100% sure that those aren't dwarves, and Biddlesby might just be lying to you. So I will give you Better advantage. Better say sorry. <laughs> Alright, that will be 17. You watch Arg disappear with a brief red glow. All right. Raga. Garu. You're with me. All right. I'm sure that the leader of the Stone Guts will be more than admittable. All right. Let us go. Everyone, in position. All right, you guys. Every the sprites fly up to the... the lookout points on the roof wait quick question yep how many spells can i cast in like one action i guess um so you can cast i believe you have four action points each spell yes. i believe costs one action point or you can like level it up to do more uh more powerful things with more action points or more mana points whichever one it is okay um yep. so you can it, you get four points uh, plus your mana to boost things, so yeah. Oh, yeah, that was it. It kind of yeah. Same with like if you were a fighter, you would have the ability to like either power up your attack or attack four times or stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Could, All could right. Could you share the uh, the rules for that? I I lost access to it and I, I want to check my mom stuff. Oh. Um, yep. Oh. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me. Sorry, I'm gonna message you real quick, and I'm gonna send you the link. Okay, that should be the rules. But, okay, so everybody is everybody is staged in position, ready to go. Rugger and um, can't remember his name now. Garu. 
Garu, uh, go with you out to meet the Stone Guts. Yes. As you go through the small opening, because the gate has not been made yet, um, you see that the ranks of goblins lock, sh like, in lockstep, stop, put their shields on the ground, and point their spears out in a typical phalanx for formation. As one individual walks out to greet you. Well met, and may this day not be full of the blood of the enemy. I say in Broken Goblin. <laughs> These crossroads used to be open. What happened? These crossroads are no longer open to those who wish to join the Iron Bloods. So you just decide you're going to take over territory that doesn't belong to you? Typical. Look, I'm under orders to make sure that the Ironbloods don't cause a ruckus. There are quite a few who have already saw to reason, and it would behoove you and your tribe to also see reason. Who, do you, who all do you have with you? I can see you got two goblins here, obviously. Different tribes. What do we got here? Well, to my left, you have Dear Ruger of the Dark Fangs. And to my right, you have Garu of the War Tusks. He looks at Peru and goes, wouldn't have uh, thought you'd join them. But what did they, what did you offer them to get them to join you? I break. Huh? I break. Oh, small little ad break for those who are not subscribed. Ah. So, uh, uh, what do you, would you offer them? Land? Money? Well, the same things that I can offer you. Which is? Status. Power. Continued existence and lineage. You know... The thing about us, Stone Guts, is unlike the rest of these goblins that are easily persuaded with fear tactics, well, as the name implies, we got a little bit more iron in our system. So, you offer status, existence. I know I'm not, uh, we can't take it. As he points to the wall, he goes, can't take it. And I'm not one to be unreasonable. But it don't sit well with me. You don't have to sit well with you right now. But think of those that you have back home. Do you really think the Legion will stop with your numbers here? I'm all worried that the Legion won't stop with the land it takes here. Exactly. So, 
Let's so find. To you, <laughs> let's take find over our lands. Let's find a a way to ensure that your lands stay in the hands of you and your kin. Maybe under a different banner, sure. But what is a flag, really? It's more so being ruled by people who don't share a common iron that exists within us. You keep saying iron. It's the wrong word. Let's say your legion takes over these lands. What are they going to do to the to the goblins that live here? Well, the goblins that have agreed to be part of the future and in stepping into tomorrow, well, they will see the brighter sun of the dawn. Those who chose to defy? Well, you know the Legion's policy. All right, make an influence check with advantage because you got Rugger with you. Who, Rugger and uh? Oh, where's my thing? Don't does it, eh? So good to see you in the chat. Yeah, Rugger and Carew. Yeah, they they give their part of speech as well. Nice. Um, influence that's going to be a 23. Okay. Let's see if he will see reason. He goes, all right. But my terms are I maintain a position of influence and all the lands of all the goblins here remain under goblin control. I'll see what I can do. He reaches out his armored gaunt gauntlet to, uh, to grab your arm. I I reach out to agree. He accepts the terms. I give the all clear to everyone so they don't start attacking. <laughs> Alright, there, there's a there's a stand down of tensions as they march through the hole in the wall and join your camp of goblins. Alright, so we got the Stone Gut clan. Yes! They now outnumber your legion forces, just so you're aware. What, the goblin forces under our banner? Your goblin auxiliaries outnumber your legion fort. I just want you to be aware of that. Okay, so wait a second. You're saying that we could go take over the home base. You you could. Um, you, you could take <laughs> we... the goblins and fight the... the fight the legion <laughs> you're saying like you're saying biddlesby could make a play for power right now <laughs> biddlesby could you could be the julius caesar of <laughs> elves biddlesby thinks about crossing the rubicon <laughs> <laughs> he thinks about it <laughs> the thought of crossing the rubicon happens as you're like i have yeah a lot of this goblins big brain time. and two trolls. <laughs> um, wait, wait, two trolls? There are two trolls. There's well, Arg the and then there's a one? female. There's a female that's been following Arg around. Like a sick lost puppy. Huh. Can we split them up? <laughs> Um, it is not often that the female troll goes beyond, like, eye line of Arg. Uh, as she kind of views Arg as the, um, the pack leader. 
Oh, that's not good. No. Narc rolled ridiculously good on his um, influence oh. on her. Oh no. <laughs> uh, but as, as the as you guys are in the stand down mode, everything's everything's wonderful. You hear a horn blow, kind of like when you heard the uh, drums start going off. Just a massive horn echoing throughout the cavern. I look in its direction. It is it is a ways off, but you can you definitely know the final tri tribe is on its approach. We have done what we could. We have recruited those who would see reason. One more goblin tribe stands between us and peace in the region. I turn and I look at Gaiden and Dillion. Arg, I'm pretty sure, is not paying attention to the speech. <laughs> I mean, Arg is watching the <laughs> line after line after line of dwarven armored goblins march into the camp. And I can assume Arg is not happy about this. Arg is... Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna roll an awareness check to see if I can determine whether or not they're dwarves. Okay. <laughs> well, it wasn't a one. Oh, uh, no. I'll pull that's eight. Oh no. They smell like goblins. They don't smell like dwarves. You're not a hundred percent sure, but you're you're leaning towards the not dwarf, but you haven't seen one without its armor on, so you're not a hundred percent sure. They might just they might just smell like goblins because you're around a lot of goblins. Arg is going to stay hidden. He's going to watch very carefully. How is the female troll reacting to this? To the the ranks of goblins coming in? The, the ranks of apparent dwarves coming in. Um, let me roll her awareness. Well, it's not a one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's an eight as well. <laughs> so she's in the same boat, and she's um, where they are. She is the furthest away, while being able to still see where she last seen you at. Our appears next to her, but out of line of sight of any of the dwarves. And he's like looking at her and looking at them and like, yeah, yeah, I see it. We're gonna watch this. <laughs> she just kind of nods with you. Not really understanding the words you're saying, but like understanding Yeah, we'll we're we're being cautious. Eric is gonna slink back out into the darkness and just watch. Uh, as you slink back out into the dark, she slinks out into the dark with you. I don't like that imagery. <laughs> just two trolls just disappear into the shadows. Yep, it's terrifying. Where's for you, Middlesby? Where do trolls go? <laughs> I mean, Middlesby has got, uh, got his hands full. He's got a whole giant camp of goblins... He's got two trolls, he's got two subordinates. Oh yeah. It is It is Bedlam for Biddlesby. Yes. Biddlesby <laughs> is having a time of it, that's for sure. But there is five days until the um the Grim Claws arrive. Alright. Um Dillian. Guidance. Yes. I seek your counsel. 
with this many troops and goblin power, we basically have the control of this region here at this Ford operating base. What should be our next move? Should we just blindly follow the orders of the Legion? Are you, are you saying we should do a coup? I'm not saying that. Uh, Biddlesby looks very concerned and sweat starts dripping down his forehead. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds, kind of sounds like what you're saying. That's not what I'm saying at all, Dillian. Hear my well, words carefully. I'm seeking your counsel as to what to do next. <laughs> I don't know. Guided. What words have you? Ah. Uh, um. I was, I was uh, slumped off in thought over here. What, what, what happened? Gaiden. So, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> we have the forces of the majority of the goblin tribes under yes. our control here at the forward operating base. Uh -huh. Do we follow the Legion's orders blindly or... What do we do now? Well, the Legion is fairy folk, and we must keep fairy folk together, so I think we should just try to coexist. And maybe try to operate here as a fob. Or even turn it into something better, and just try to maintain a coexistence. So are you saying that we should just... Oh my goodness! Yes, we should. <laughs> I saw we were one point away. I couldn't ignore it. It was uh, bugging me. Uh, ah! We hit the yeah. sub goal! Sorry. It was bugging me. We hit the sub goal, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. Where, where, where were we? I'm sorry. I got distracted by stream. <laughs> uh, nobody wants to join your coup. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a coup. Okay. It really sounds like you're saying it's a coup. I'm not saying it's a coup. It's an investigation as to the... the the motivations of those in charge. <laughs> so, a, a coup? No! <laughs> <laughs> Distinctly not a coup. <laughs> Distinctly not a coup. So are we like, do you, do you want to like go walk over there and ask them? No, I don't want to ask them what the... the uh, okay. All right. Let's just deal with this final troop of, of goblins, and then we'll uh, see what the next orders are and go from there. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Is that fine? Is that good with everyone? Yes. yes. <laughs> Potential power grab. Shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Aren't so, you the um, least bit curious as to where all our gold goes? I I don't get paid. I think we need to be a little bit more established before we try to take over as the new legion in town. I I look very concerned over at Dillion. What? What do you mean you're not getting paid? They said it was an internship. That is something they would say. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I walk over 
and, and I just pat pat on the shoulder and I hand him a gold. What? <laughs> uh, thank you. You earn an honest what? wage. Man oh. of valor. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that, was, that was good. That was golden. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh. oh, that was okay. <laughs> and, and you seriously don't want to go investigate? They made this man work for nothing. <laughs> it's for the future. What do you mean? What do you mean for the future? What of you now? You couldn't afford food. Uh. Yeah, that's why they said we here, so I can afford food. I think. Food's issued. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Let's uh, shore up our defenses, make sure everything's good. Uh, let's go check on Gaiden and his workshop. The workshop is complete. Yeah. But yeah, I'm already that. started. I gotta get these things over to the quartermaster. You're already started just blowing glass. Yeah. Gaiden's over here just like, I'm working. <laughs> the moment the stand down happens and he, he hears you talk about like a, a potential coup, he's like, wait a second. No, no, no. Goes back yeah. to working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to get uh, 10 units of these uh, optical cows or like over to the quartermaster. So. Like binoculars or. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. Uh, go ahead and make me a glass blowing trade skill check. Alright. First glass burning. Roll check. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> this is the first trade check. Or no, second trade check. My bad. Arg made a herbalism, alchemy thing. Mm -hmm. Wait, Arg is also an alchemist? Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, we have two of them now. Oh, Taudacity with the hydrate. Everyone get some high quality <laughs> H2O. Oh, no, I must grab my libations. I ain't got water. You need to fix that there. So trades are on time? Oh no. Yes. Okay. Fifteen. Yeah, the uh, the sand has the right consistency and everything you need. You are able to make the glasses like the lenses and it will take you the better part of a day to make like your first real working pair of glasses and like lenses to do magnification All but right. once you get the process down and you, like, you figure it out and you start to like get the goblins to like make the metal settings for like the binoculars no. essentially you're yeah. you you start moving in that direction and you're, you're able to start making the the lenses a lot faster the more you do it all right so I will say it takes you probably about two or three days uh, of working it and like making sure you're getting everything smoothed out and it's the purification is the hardest part. Making sure you're not having yeah. any distortions and stuff. Yep. Exactly. What are you guys doing for the rest of the five days? I think I'm sitting I in the first because I hmm? Uh, I was gonna say, I think I'm saying the bird. Going to... oh, go ahead. <laughs> we'll, we'll start with Del Delian. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the perch because I still don't know where Arg is, and I saw him disappear into the shadows. Okay. Uh, Arg? I I'm after, like, going the first to try. Day, you see, like, some of the goblins take their helmets off, and you see that they're goblins underneath the dwarven armor. Yeah. Arg is still not going to trust the ones wearing armor, 
but um, he has he's decided he's going to embark on a project. He's going to try and teach the female dwarf his version of stealth. Oh, the female troll? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's better um, than one stealthy troll? Two stealthy trolls. Make? I don't need this nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Make an occultism check. Here's the oh. thing is... Arg is just starting his pack. Mm -hmm. There's your nightmare flute fuel. Uh -huh. Alrighty, here we go. Arg of the troll Come king. On. Okay, alright. Uh, so with proficiency, that's 15. No. <laughs> um, you begin doing things that you're not exactly sure what is going on. Uh, like, you're, you're trying to teach her how to do what you do. And the best way something inside you helps you determine to do so is you start to, um, well, you snatch up some of the, the goblins that are not, uh, how, how do we say, uh, indentured servants. Hmm. From the, Enthusiastic uh, constructs. Yes. The, you you snatch up a couple of those, uh, and proceed to do some sort of weird ritual. You now see a glowing red mark on the female troll. As the female troll goes invisible with a red flash. I like to think I'm just watching from above. Just in horror Arg. as they disappear. Arg walks into camp and sees Biddlesby. Biddlesby, want to see magic trick? Arg, there you are. Where have you been? P perfecting magic trick. What? P Look. Perfecting. Rolls up a cloth. You see? Cloth? I see a cloth. Drops a cloth to the ground. No cloth? Cloth? He drops it and the troll is there. You watch the female troll up here. Biddlesby doesn't show it on his face, but internally, he's like, oh god, what have we unleashed onto the world? What have we done? Outwardly, he goes, ah, yes, um... I see you have taught your uh, companion uh, your ability. Or was that just something innate in your race, Arg? Oh no, got it at a discount. Five goblins. What? <laughs> what do you mean, five goblins? Cost five goblins. What do you... It cost... Can you show me where where you traded these goblins? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no? Um, well, I would like to, perchance, purchase their service back. Oh, uh... uh medical leave. I look at Arg. Just the fact that he, like, put those two words together. I want to roll an insight to see if he's hiding from me. Arg, make a deception. And, uh, Biddlesby, make an insight. Deception, deception. Or, uh, trickery. Oh my gosh. I just got a 19 on the die. Plus 5. 24. <laughs> Not again. Not no. again. No. Sorry, that's a net 20. No, no. That happened no last way. week. No, there's no way. There's no way I roll a 19 and you hit me again with a nat 20. There's no way. I call hang shenanigans. On, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Uh, let's see here. Middlesby, you look at Arg. I do... 
you get the vague sense Arg is lying. But at the same time, if there is a um, uh, untoward efforts on the Legion's part, what's more terrifying than one sneaky troll? Two sneaky trolls. Against and, my better judgment, I'll let it go. And at that, it only cost five goblins. If it cost five goblins, they're only goblins. Uh, What's five goblins for a big troll that can go sneaky sneak? It matters if they're under your control, and it's becoming very clear to Biddlesby he does not have control. <laughs> but Arg has not eaten you. And Arg has saved you. It's not a very good picture, but... Ar Arg saved you, so, like, obviously Arg likes you. It's not the worst. Arg, Arg thinks of teaching other trolls his magic trick. Maybe when Arg meets other trolls. Maybe not. We'll see. The idea of an army of invisible trolls. Yeah, no, <laughs> nightmare. Be... But also nightmares. a nightmare on whoever you sent it against. My goodness. Um, uh, but, uh, Dillian, you see as the trolls go invisible. I hate everything. <laughs> and... The trolls become visible again. I'm cowering in a corner watching absolute horror happen. Yeah, they just vanish and then come back. And you, you're you left sitting there like, they straight up go invisible. <laughs> Gideon's work, uh, Gideon's working on the, the lenses. Biddlesby, what are you doing in the remaining time that I'm you have? I'm still Grim trying to organize the the goblins and make sure that all of our defenses are not only intimidating, but like, I want there to be like absolutely no hope when a enemy sees these gates. Like, you see these gates and all hope and like morale you built up on the days traveling to here i want it all to die <laughs> adrian's wall understood yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right uh make an influence check i did not roll good this time uh influence i think this Troll stuff shook me up. I only got an eight. <laughs> I rolled a three on the die. You you begin trying to like move people around and you're you're distracted. You're distracted heavily. Um, I will give you the ability to re-roll as Rugger comes up to you and says, "This seems to be a lot on your mind." It will be. You're right, Rugga, there is. It's just trying to keep all of these tribes coordinated where they're not going to kill each other. Oh, well, you know, the, a shared load um, 21. relieves the pressure. He, he hits you with the, a shared load relieves the pressure off of you. Ah. Puts them on to me, that way I might help you. I give yeah. him the plan of, like, let's make this so intimidating that the morale dies. <laughs> he goes, yes, yes, we can do this. And he, he wanders around with you and, like, you guys bolster the defense production and everything. And it, it begins to take on a formidable appearance. Good. Good. As you hear the horn blast, and they are here. And that is where we're going to leave off for now. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah. <clears throat> what a here we go. What a crazy session. Absolutely insane. Bedlam and madness. And then Good night. Over here we had we had uh King Mochi's first session with the Midwest Dungeon Delvers. How you feeling? Scared. <laughs> big nat 20 though <laughs> big nat 20. I did get a nat 20 yeah. and it was Massive a big nat 20 yeah, I set, set up, up the best intelligence network this world's yeah. ever seen you, you have got messaging down that's right My goodness. so yeah, much so huge. that that like years from now when the fey equivalent of twitter is invented it's going to be called lizard tail Oh my gosh. Oh. No. Oh I don't want to be Twitter. <laughs> it, here, let me let me put up a slither. It's oh, yeah, there we go. go. <laughs> I gotta put a post on Slither real quick. <laughs> I'm the founder of Twitter. No. <laughs> you also instead of like the Bluetooth runes, it's a DS rune. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> that way you're always connected. You're always connected. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, the founder of Twitter and Bluetooth. <laughs> th thank you all so much for tuning in to the Midwest Dungeon Delvers. I, of course, am Midwest, quote unquote. Uh, and I usually give this portion to everybody else just to say like a little thing that's going on in your life and uh, introduce yourself so everyone kind of gets a, a feel for who you are and what you do so uh let's let's go ahead and start with good old gaiden aka shoden ninja what what you got going on in your life <clears throat> well um just doing the delvers thing really working and doing delvers doing what i can oh. hey arg what aka still skin <laughs> the storyteller what you got going yeah, on in your yeah. life? um uh, actually ironically i'm working on finishing up my current draft of my own tabletop role-playing game that i run a small game with so that's that's what i've got on my mind right now sweet that's sweet. that's i thought it was going to be a lot easier than it actually was <laughs> Quite, quite complex coming up with your own systems. Corns Demon. Hey, check out Wolfie G33. That is my wife. She streams on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday most times. Uh, and for myself, I, I run D and D. I have dabbled in the DC20. I've dabbled in the Fallout RPG. Um, I'm writing a short story. Uh, I I work. That, that, that's I work and I grind. That's what I do. <laughs> Dillian, aka King Mochi, what you got going on in your life? Uh, working. I mean, I, I started Dishonored. Hey. So there you go. Well, that's cool. Is it your first Not run of Dishonored? Yes, very nice. first run. Nice. That's a very good game. Yes. It's a great game. Well, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you once again for being a massive blessing to us this evening, joining us for the live of our episode four of The Fair Before the Foul. Be sure to tune in to the edited version up on the YouTube, hopefully tomorrow afternoon or Saturday at some point. It'll be up. I'll be editing it. Um, and uh, be sure to tune in to all the other good shenanigans that we get up to. Uh, I'm basically streaming every day. A little, little something, little game or little something before work happens. All right, guys. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the next episode. Say bye-bye, everyone!
Bye-bye. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Thank bye, you for bye. Bye. The troll with strength of stone Cave and mud his ancient home Blending ages milk and honey Folk with brass the mud men's irony All the tales of night and day Grit and magic, steel and clay Got hidden swords, riddles be praised Our gods pass in a wild array It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Harp and jewel, twilight's call Dances through the midnight straw